Hey guys. Okay. So I have some disclosures for you this morning. Um, obviously we can see the, what the problem is and I'm not afraid to be on here. Okay. Yeah. It looks so bad. Oh my God. I'm all bruised. Okay. Yeah. So shut up. Anyway, like I actually shouldn't be on here because people would not be on here with a mouth like this. It doesn't look that bad in real life. Oh my God. Actually it does. Um, but wow, like how am I going to do class like this? It's so disgusting. Let's see, at least I can admit it. Anyway, we have some things. I have literally have to tell you guys shit. Oh my God. Okay. So, um, do, should I make them darker? Is that like better? I was just drinking coffee and I think like the color wore off. So, um, I want to tell you guys what I've been, you guys know I've been putting my lips through a lot lately to fix the deformity, right? Of this from that cold sore, this whatever, having eaten my mouth away for years. All right. Um, anyway, let me see if this will help. Like, it's just, I'm just disgusting today and like, it is what it is. Like, what are we going to do? Okay. I don't, like, honestly don't care, you know, like, I'm not like, trying to. Like, I know what I look like, you know, I like, I don't need to. I don't care. Um, okay. So I know this is like, can we even like do a video? Like if I look this disgusting, like I don't know. Um, like it's a kind of like, I'm not sure to be honest. Um, Ming's here. Ming, want to say hi? Bert. Bert, want to say hi? You should be okay. Can say hi to you? She's an angel. Okay. Um, so let me kind of tell you guys what happened this morning. Like I just need to do some clarifications before I even start because I need to look at rats. They're like loving this. They're loving that I'm not looking my best today. Okay. Um, they just love it. They're like, they're literally with feces and their assholes in the back of the Bentley. I told them not to come here. Okay. So, um, I, all right. So you guys know that I went and got my lips blushed and then you know that I've always had this problem right here or like I'm missing a part of my mouth basically because whenever I would get cold sores in the past I haven't gotten them in a long time but whenever I did it would come right here on the lip and eat my lip like it's like it would look like a like a rat that's what you did a rat one of you guys came and chomped my lip off in the middle of the night that's what you did okay um so anyway I haven't had my lips filled in forever like over five years like you guys know that um so I went in because what I wanted to do is just, I wanted to do this thing where I would do this like pillow kind of thing where I would have a line right here. You know what I mean? Like that. Um, and then I wanted to fill this. Okay. Didn't work because I already have like filler. It's still in there. And, um, like it just, well, obviously because I have filler in there, you can't. Okay. Stop. So, um, then my other problem is I have these, like you guys see these like not like two knobs things. Okay. So it's just like bad. Like, I, okay, I had like a bad injection or something. It just didn't sit well. One of the first times I ever got my mouth done. And it just never went away and whatever. Okay, I don't hate it. Like, no, I hate it. But like, it wasn't something that I was like disgusted by because you could only tell, like, I don't know, whatever. It just wasn't like something horrible to me. It kind of just made it look like a pouty lip, whatever. Okay, I don't love it. But anyway, so that, um, so I went in there and I was like, what can we do to just make, take what I have and make it better? I can't, I, I'm very aware that I can't just like show you like a model's mouth and be like, I want this mouth. It doesn't work like that. Like you can't, you need to just like embrace what you have and improve on what you have. Okay. Like it's so dumb. People go into there like with like some Instagram model's mouth and no, first of all, it's probably edited. Second of all, you're not a model bitch. Okay. You know what I mean? Like you don't have that mouth. Like what do you have a mouth transplant? So anyway, um, so what she did is she filled this, as you can see. Okay, bitch, I forgot to put this in here. And yes, I'm going to stop my video to talk about my jewelry. Okay, so um, before I forget, um, I was like already yelled at you, before, whatever, you'll see. Um, all of my new designs are $10 off right now. I told you guys this last week too, but they still are $10 off. So if you were thinking about all my new designs, um, now is the time because next week they're going to go back up to regular price. So like these are $10 off each right now. All right, okay. So now back onto the class problem is there's still scar so the scar is just it's a scar so it's just even though it's full now like it's not it's not indent like 
it is fall you have to wait until like the bruising goes down so she filled right here a little bit and then she because i hate and i'm so happy she agreed i hate those like i have like a this mouth that's like an m it's like an m okay it's disgusting like that's my personal opinion we will get into personal opinions very quickly here because i'm very upset actually and i'm very upset i'm just i I, I have told you guys since day one, I said what I damn said. This is my personal opinion on my fucking page. Get the fuck off my damn channel, bitch. Okay. I need to brush my hair. So, um, I, she's like, what we should do is, cause it was like, this was low and then it was like, this was high. So it was like, anyway, so she filled here and here. So now I have this really cute little mouth with an opening right here. And it just looks so good. Like, I could not be happier with my mouth right now. Don't look at the bruising. It's going to go away. And I have one more session of lip blushing to, like, complete it. And then I'll be done. But it looks like I look like a fucking, like a fucking mess right now. I know. I'm not dumb. But I don't care. Like, you know, I care. I look better than 99% of your rat asses any day of the week. Stop texting me and doing my damn video. Okay. So anyway, it's so annoying. Like, like, okay, first off, if you're gonna come for me, let me see you. You know, you know the rules here. Okay. So that then, you guys, you guys are not gonna believe what I've been through this morning already. And then I woke up this morning. Well, actually, last night I started itching, like hives itching. I've never had hives in my life. I don't know what's going on. So, so last night I started itching, and I'm like, what the fuck? Am I getting hives? Like, I've never had hives. What is this? Um, and sorry. Oh, okay, so I'm like, I, I start itching. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, so I wake up in the morning and I noticed, can you see now? Oh, it's kind of gone. Oh my God. So I was like, no, it's kind of gone. Oh my God. Thank God. Okay. Wait, look at my neck. You can see my neck. Okay. Oh wow. It's kind of gone. Honest. Awesome. Okay. I was full of hives, itching, dying. So, um, like my husband went out and like tried to find Benadryl for me, like non-drowsy Benadryl. They're sold out everywhere. They're sold out everywhere because, um, you know why I'm not going to say it on here. Okay. So everywhere is sold out. And so I'm like, fuck this. Like I said, I'm just going to go to the, I'm going to go to urgent care because I need like a steroid shot. I'm not dealing with this shit. You know what I mean? Like I'm not going to fucking take stupid fucking Benadryl or something. And then like have to go to the, and then not work enough and then have to go to the fucking urgent care anyway. So I went to urgent care and they gave me a, like a steroid shot. I'm still a little bit itchy, like here and there. They gave me a steroid shot. Um, and it's all gone now. I'm like shocked. And then like, I'm just going to take like Benadryl and stuff. Like, and I have, oh, I have like a steroid, like whatever steroid pills to take starting tomorrow but it's never happened to me i don't know if it was because i think she used something different in my mouth like it's not juvederm it's something else so maybe it was that or afterwards like i went and had like lunch with a friend um and we had like this asian food which we were okay it was judy obviously i don't have any friends <laughs> judy and i had lunch and we we like this asian place that so we have it delivered and we usually love it it's like really 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 spicy dry chinese chili chicken and we like burn ourselves eating it it's so hot like we love it it's like this dry chili chicken and then we even eat the dried chilies like it's that good we just love it like we're dying like <laughs> but like we like love it that much um anyway so we had that so i'm thinking was it that fucking chicken like i don't know i've had it before but like maybe because i had just had injections and then i ate the chili chicken i don't know what it was but like I'm not sure either way. I don't care. Like I just got like the steroid shot and I'm fine. I'm fine now. Um, but that's like, I've been what I've been going through this morning before 9am bitch. I also went into the, the, um, I've been into that. What's it called before? I've been into that urgent care before when I had the fucking spider bite. Oh my God. Like I'm a mess. Remember the spider bite I had on my chin, like tropical disease, like last week. Okay. So I went there before they were so obnoxious about the mask. Like I didn't get it, but now they have a no gun, no weapons allowed. No gun zone. Fuck, I put it on my Instagram page. Oh my God. Can I tell you guys, when I walked in there, I felt so safe. I thought to, oh my God. See, I can't yell because like, I have like, looks like someone beat me up. I thought to myself, oh my God, now a criminal is going to see the sign that says no guns and they're not going to bring their guns in. I felt so good. I felt so safe. Ming, you don't have to actually try to be like you're no she's not okay good she's also an attendee of class like she is she's like loves to come to class like when i film in the house she's like always around she's probably like waiting to see if i'm gonna have a heart attack or not okay but it's not the truth like 
when you guys see like a like a, like a gun free zone sign, don't you don't you feel like like that is just the most brilliant thing you've ever seen in your life? Like they have literally cracked the code. If I was a criminal on a rampage, I would see a sign and I would say, "Oh, this is a gun free zone, so I, I'm not gonna take my gun in here." Like how fucking motherfucking retarded are these assholes? I'm sick of it. Also. The stupid ass little pen slots for the clean pens and the dirty pens. Suck my dick, you fucking psycho fucks. Are you serious? Um, I'm not looking where I'm putting a pen, taking a pen, or leaving a pen. No, I will not. Shut up, okay? And then, what else was there? Oh, yeah, like, of course, the mask thing. Okay, oh, just leave me alone. But, like, really? Another gun-free zone fucking sign? Are you guys that fucking dumb? I am sick of it. Okay. I'm really tired. Okay, so I got a new bag, which we guys, which we know. I'm gonna talk about it later. I'll show you guys what I have in it. I'm just kind of like on one right now. The sun, I really don't like how there's a sun in my face. Like it really bothers me. Um, should we move? I just kind of like want to move. Um, let me see. Like the lower the middle of the okay, I think it's better. I just don't want to be hot, but like now I'm in the middle of the parking lot. There's like no hair. Right. All right. Um. Okay. So, yeah. So then, um, I okay. So then, yeah. I want to show you guys my bag. I got the bag, and like it's really cute, right? Okay. And we're not gonna talk about. Uh, we'll talk about it later. And then, okay. What am I wearing? Oh yeah. So I'm wearing, this is so cute. I love this. Look at my lips. It's disgusting. This is so cute. I got it from Urban. Ugh, hate at the store. The store is done. The store is done. Like I literally, you look like you went to a garage sale. Like they, they, they ruined it. Or you like, you just walked out of a clueless movie. It is the tackiest shit ever. Like they have fucked it up. I just went in there because I like, wanted some new things. I got this so it's kind of cute and it's short. It's a short cropped jacket. I think this color is really pretty on me though. It's short, okay? Because we're not wearing long tunics here. I've already talked about it. I don't care if you think that I have a short torso. You don't get it. I'm not gonna cover my body. Like I have a good body. Like shut the fuck up. Okay, so um let me move that. So then I'm wearing my um my new uh I think it's called like the Divine, yeah. Um Lariat, which I love. And then my Sacred Heart. This is so pretty on this long chain. I love this chain so much. And this is my Le Cristal, Cristal in the AB, which is so pretty. This is a 20 inch, just so you guys know. I'm wearing my, um, I haven't taken these off. I love them so much. This is my Money Moves with the Pave or the Baguettes. And then this is my AB Glow. It's so pretty. Like crystals all the way, look at that. Look at how it shines. It's so crazy. It's so pretty. I can't stop looking at it. And then I'm wearing my u -locks. These are u -locks, and then my u -lock Edge. Like as a little trio, I just think it looks so perfect. Okay, so that's that. And then these are my vintage rings. You guys know I love to source vintage stuff for you for like special occasions or just nothing, just if you want one for yourself or a gift or whatever, um, because I have the best taste. Yes, I do. Um, okay, so I think this is cute, right? Like kind of like it. All right, so before I, I have a lot of things to talk about, like I'm honestly like, I'm just done. I want to start off by saying, first of all, I got this coffee and it's disgusting, but, um, okay. So I wasn't going to ever address this again because it's old news. Yes, it is old news. All right. But I will address it because I will say whatever the damn fuck I want to say on my page. Just because you're a racist piece of shit, pandering fuck, okay, and you want to make it a race thing? doesn't mean it was a race thing, you pandering piece of shit, motherfucker. Okay, so I said what I said five years ago. Did I not say it? Yes, I did. Michelle Obama is ugly. That's it. It's my personal opinion that she is not pretty, okay? Um, there are plenty of people who are pretty and not pretty, bitch, okay? You had to make it a racial issue. Never once did I say that her skin color wasn't pretty, you fucking pandering motherfucker you rat piece of shit get the fuck off of my page you poor loser i want you out why are you here you're trying to get views don't talk about me you're ugly okay you're also ugly and you're stupid and you're useless you need to talk about me to get views okay you need to sit the fuck down it was never a racial issue i may have an opinion i always have opinions yes i do I have opinions about everything and I share them. If you don't want to hear my opinions, you can get out. 
I am shocked that you had to make it a racial issue. You're a sick fucking racist fuck. And I want you out. Get the fuck off of my page. Who the fuck are you? I want you gone. I'm not kidding. The way that people try to make things about race is vicious, disgusting, and destructive, okay? You are, you're the racist in it for making it about a race issue. You're disgusting and you make me want to vomit, okay? You are sick. All right. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I just, you know what it is? It's so funny the way that it's like everything has to be about race with these people. I am so done with you. Goodbye, bitch. Bye. Now, and I'm not going to repost your shit and I don't give a fuck about you. Okay. Yeah. Keep talking about me. Keep talking about me. All right. Um, anyway, it's just so embarrassing. It was like cringe. Like, I'm sorry. When did I ever talk about skin color? Never. That's you. That's what you do. You talk about skin color because you are a racist. Okay. Just like Instagram the other day, I woke up on my Instagram page and I was like, oh, wow. Did you notice on Instagram that, um, did you notice on Instagram that, um, they were like, oh, please let us know your race or something to make this a more inclusive app. I was like, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I will. Absolutely. Uh, so I went on there and I said I was black because I'm not, I think that is very rude. Um, why do you care what I am? What, how, how are you making Instagram a race, a, a more inclusive place by knowing what, why? Like just because someone's black and someone's white, like what the fuck? Stop, stop it. Stop it. Okay. Enough. This is America, you stupid pieces of shit. We are all here living together. No one cares if you are white or black or brown or yellow. Okay, yeah, that would be Asian, I know. Um, because I'm not white, I'm peach, right? Peach and a black person would be brown. And then what would, like, then, then see what I mean? Because I said, I said yellow, now I'm gonna be the racist. I want you out of my class, get out. You're scaring my dog. I, you are scaring my dog. Yes, you are. Because you did, did, did this to me. You see what I mean? Like, I didn't do this. You did this to me. You brought your fucking crap to me. Okay, so yes, I'm addressing it. All right. I'm like shocked, you know? Like, I'm shocked. Get the fuck out of my face. Get the fuck out of my face, you fucking cunt. All right. So anyway, let's go on to this. this is, I told you guys, class is me on today. Um, so we're going to talk about the bag I got. This says Birkin 25 rose gold hardware and it's ostrich, like para shim or some shit. No, I'm not pronouncing French names. I do not. No, I'm not going to suck the dick of a fucking Hermes associate. No, I will not. Okay. It's period. You'll never know. You'll never know. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I went in there and spent $45,000 on, on, on random little trinket shit and then sucked his dick in the back corner so that I could get a bag. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Maybe I, maybe I got it resale. Maybe a friend gave it to me as a gift. Um, you know what? I'm just not gonna do that with any of you because I don't care, okay? And no, I'm not playing the damn game. I'm getting my bags when I'm getting my fucking bags when I like to get my bags. Okay, so yeah, this is it. Isn't it gorgeous? I fucking love it so much. Um, I love the 25s. They're, the 25s are for skinny people. Yes, they are. And no, it's not a designer bag. We're not going to go through this. Like, 25s are really cute for skinny people because they just look cute on skinny people. I They look good on, like, actually, the truth is, you're going to get mad at me, but I don't care because I told you get the fuck off of my page. I've seen, like, fat, fat Saudi women who wear, like, you know how I talk about, like, like long clothes and stuff, like long drapey clothes. They, they sometimes carry Birkin 25s and it looks pretty on them. There are some fat people who carry Birkin 25s. It looks like shit. It just depends on the vibe of the person. Okay. And if you don't get it, I, have, I can't explain it to you because you're too stupid. And there's just like, there's no hope. Get away from me. Okay. So I have a brush, obviously it's this Conair and <clears throat> it's like diamondy. It's kind of pretty. I know the rats are taking, look at the rats. If you, do you guys notice the rats are like taking the notes now? They're literally taking notes because they're going to buy everything because they're so sick. Like, oh my God, I can get the brush. Oh, I got to talk about something else too. Yes, I do. I want you off of my page. This is going to be a short video because I'm a heart attack. I have high, this, they're gone now, but like, wow. You guys should have seen it now. Like, I have a nasal drip as well. Stop. 
you know and you know the, you know what new people like always like um what's it called they like assume that i do drugs i've never done a drug a day in my life except for an antibiotic like which i was prescribed by the fucking urgent ass care okay so you jealous of me so oh i love these okay i'm gonna talk about this too what am i gonna talk about first okay talk about this first. um you know what bitch get the fuck off of my channel with your copping ass you're ugly as shit there's this bitch okay so i don't like um i don't watch I got my TikTok back. Um, oh, I thought I should have started. It's pretty okay. I got to talk about my face. So there's this bitch, and I don't, I don't talk about, I don't watch TikTok. But some people, sometimes people will like send me stuff that like people talk do do about me or something like that. And this one girl was like, it was so annoying. Like she's trying to copy me. She was like, oh, I hate this <clears throat> a pussy ass bitch. She's like, oh, um. I, I don't know she's like I, yeah she's like trying to like be one of those like pc people she's like oh well i was watching hr's collection not, not, not that i not that i agree with anything she says or not that, not that i not that i agree with any reviews like you're a little pussy ass bitch you had to like disclaim that to your dumb four followers that you don't agree with anything well you don't agree with anything I say, everything i say is right get the fuck off me and then she's like but i want to copy her her, her eyes bitch you don't have it get off of my page don't copy my eyes don't you're ugly i want you to not copy my eyes because you're ruining it it's just like i don't tell you guys where to buy shit because the ugly rats try to copy it and ruin it don't copy my eyes if you're an ugly rat because you're ruining the vibe do you see what i mean it becomes overplayed and then the vibe is gone i'm literally in the middle of the parking lot but like i have to like get away from the sun oh my god like i need to get away i'm literally in the middle of the parking lot Okay, I'm like in the middle of If you guys saw this, I'm like literally, okay, should I go all the way back now? Because then it's like not, I'm in the middle of the parking lot. Okay. Anyway, um, I think I'm just gonna like repark. Okay. I gotta like repark. Cause I don't want, I'm literally in the middle of the parking lot. Now I'm in like two spaces, there's no one here. But like, just like my luck, a gardener will come or something and try to like blow the leaves away around and then like, I'll be in their way. And like, I was just like, why do you have to come here? Oh, now I'm a racist because I said the gardener, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, get off my page. So stupid, like I'm just done with you. Like I'm done. I don't really like this lighting. It looks makes me look very shadowy. Stop, I need to move. All right, you guys are ruining my dog too. She's like had enough, I gotta go home soon. I don't really take her on these anymore because she just like wants to go sit in the sun on the patio. I look like an old lady driving like this, but like I'm, I'm just not like. Okay, this is fine. This is kind of weird lighting, but I think it's pretty. Look how pretty that crystal is. Okay. Um. Anyway, so let me back up. And what was I saying? I was going to show you. I was continuing to show you what's in my. Um. You can't see the Sacred Heart. It's so pretty. You guys need this fucking stack. I know a lot of you guys have this. You should get these. Some of these pieces to layer. It's just so pretty. It's so effortless. With like band tees or even like low neck like everything i just love it okay so um oh yeah, i want to talk about it. okay so about that so then i was gonna talk about this you guys i just like i want to be okay i know this is gonna be like the rats will be like oh you are already like no i'm not that's the thing like i'm not even if i really tried to be i just can't because i'm like, just too like picky or something like i'm just too like like different honestly with like i am like you guys are, like no but whatever so I just want to be basic so bad. Like I want to be basic so bad. And I'm not even saying it in a bitchy way because I really do. I, it's like not nice to say because you guys take it in a bad way. I think it's sometimes it's really like refreshing. It's a really like just um, down, down to earth kind of way of life. Like just someone who's normal. You know what I mean? I, like someone who's like normal, like normal life, like normal. I don't know. I don't feel like I'm normal, right? Like I feel like I don't. So sometimes I watch like YouTube videos of people who like seemingly have like a more normal like life. Like maybe a life that I grew up in with my parents. Like where they had like normal jobs, like a normal house, like normal activities, normal interests kind of. And like that's just like not me. But like it's very calming and like it's very grounding. So like there's this girl I watch on YouTube who I'm never gonna tell you who it is because I don't want you guys to like root like she's a nice person and like you guys would like go out and you guys would go and tell her that I'm talking shit. That's what you've done in the past, even though it's never worked. But like I don't like you to try to scuttle my relationships because you're a fucking cunt. You know what I mean? So I really like her and she's just like normal and nice and she just very like sweet and like she 
has a very like a very cute house and it's just like she decorates it and she has like some friends and like goes goes to eat like at normal places like you know like normal chain restaurants with friends and doesn't have like a ton of designer stuff I don't either I don't have I don't like designer shit like I don't carry designer bags anymore no I don't see what I mean like what are you talking about I have like you know what I mean like but that's how I am like I'm just too much <sighs> whatever I don't care like I'll never change never be able to change but like maybe like maybe I need to like move like literally I'm gonna like move to Alabama I swear to god like I'm just gonna move to Alabama and I'm just gonna like, sell everything and I'm just gonna like just like live like like about 30 minutes away from like a town like a big a big city or something like a town where if I want to go to a city I can look at how pretty my lips are like I'm sorry like they I'm I just like I've just I've taken a lot of time and effort to reconstruct my life I knew my lips were ugly right so I, I I addressed that like rather than me harassing people online I address my issues that's why I'm pretty and successful because I focus on me not the way you guys feel. look at how cute that is you see how this goes up like it's so cute I love it it is fucking perfect and wait until the bruises are gone before you make a comment on here okay so anyway, I just really like that idea. And like sometimes when I want to sleep at night, I think about that kind of a vibe. Like, you know, I'm more of just like, um, like I know a lot of you guys out there are like that. And I really admire, I like that. Like I like, there's a lot of women who follow me who have seemingly normal lives. They're not like <sighs> LA lives, you know what I mean? That kind of shit. Or even like, like pretentious lives. I, I think I might end up moving. Like, like, you know, not now. I don't know when, but like, I think I might end up just like, I don't know. I can't because like my parents live here. I don't know. But like, I would love to just stop. You know what I mean? Like being, I don't know. I probably could do it for like a week. And then be like, this is not the vibe. <laughs> Get me the fuck out of here. Right? Like probably. Okay. I don't know. Wishful thinking. We'll see. Okay. I'm going to give you guys a clue, even though you won't, it won't look good on you because you're ugly. And you know when I say that, I'm speaking to the rats. Okay. Because I know a lot of like newbies are like, why are you calling me ugly? And if you said that, you shouldn't be here. Okay. This is what I've been using. And it's really actually a, like a red, like a, look at the cranberry color. But um, it, um, it's like nude for me, you know? It's called, it's by Laura Mercier and it's hazelnut tea. Okay, I really love this. And then I got these new glosses by Jaclyn Hill. And it's because I saw this girl who I like wearing them. And um, I just, whatever. And she, they, I was like, oh, they look, they look pretty. So isn't she like a YouTuber, Jaclyn Hill? I don't even know. Um, and I got the candy drip and the rose drip. And I don't, you guys, like, I don't know I'm doing my face anymore. I don't think we're doing sleepy droop because I think it's gonna become too costumey with the lips, right? Like, I think we might be entering a new era. I'm not sure. I think the lips are the focus now with like um, a little bit of liner because I still do cut that off. And then when I do my next round of lip blushing, I'm gonna be even better. So like, I just think we're kind of entering a new era. I need to like, I want my, I want this eyebrow to stop doing that. Like, I want it to stop. Like, see this arch? Like, I, this needs to stop. This needs to be straight. Like, why? Like, why are you not, like, straight? And see, like that. Like, straight. Like, stop, you know? Like, I don't want any curve. If you, like, I can't stand people that do, like, this kind of an arch. Like, oh, my God. Like, you know, stop. Um, see, this one's better. But this one's not as pretty. So, um, yeah, I think we're not doing sleepy droop. I'm not sure. Because you can't, like... Now I'm like, you know, it's pretty and it's cute. I need to have like a flick or something, but it's like too much with like the sleepy droop and with the mouth. It's like, bitch, you are on one. You look like you work at a makeup counter. You know, when you go to like a makeup counter and they have like caked on makeup because they're like sitting around makeup all day long, you can't help it. But like, ew, like you need to stop 10, about two hours ago, you've had enough makeup on. I hate that. It is so sad. Like that's just, it's just a part of like the business. I feel like if you're around it a lot, like, you're just constantly putting it on. I don't know, but yo, stop. Okay, then I got this. It's another one of like um, the fetus creams. Um, it's a new, it's Hourglass and it's Wonder. It's really pretty. So I told you guys a lot of my colors don't match my hair anymore. Um, so I'm kind of just like building a like a slightly new collection as far as like what I use every day. So this is really pretty. Um, and okay, so that... Okay, I'm getting you know what? So I got this little thing I showed you guys this last time. Oh my god, I have new postcards, which I designed myself and I made myself. Yes, I did. I also have okay. You guys, I told you a million times, I don't hire interior des interior designers. I don't hire um what's it called? 
graphic designers unless I like I really need them for like a project because I need like it done in like PDF or something you know I don't do that or like whatever or like I'll like tell them what I want because like no because like they just never get it like they never get it like it's really hard like I, I can't do everything myself but like I've never like blown away with something like very real that's not true the ones that I've worked with in the past for things like logo stuff and everything they came through because I love them so if you're watching and I've worked with you I love what we did okay but you know what I mean like if I was just to give a project to someone without any like without you see how cute my mouth is like when I just go back to like see how it sits like oh my god like I am cute yes I am yes I am you see the sky is blue okay I am very cute yes okay so anyway um I made these postcards by myself because I did. I think they're really cute. So this is me. Um, and I put HRH here in that cute, it's my favorite color. It's like this, it's the same color as my AB Glow. Um, it's like that yogurt-y pink. It's like my nails. Um, I love my nails so much. Oh my God, they're like my, they're so fucking pretty. Um, and that's me with sparkles on me. This is from our vlog that we did a few, few weeks ago. And then the back, I changed it. And um, it's a new size too. And I did this all this graphic. I think it's so cute. Yes, it is. Did you think of how this is laid out? No, you did not. I did. See how I did do everything? Okay. So I did like a peachy background and then I thought it looked cute with this um, neon yellow with like the nails and my AB Glow bracelet, which I love. And says, thank you so much for your order, XX Alex, and then like shophrh.co. So it's so cute. I love these. You get these with your order now, but I just think they're so fun. To be honest, I really want to put one on my car. Like, is that cute? Yeah, actually it's cute. It like sits right there, but then like, I kind of like, I don't really like to look like that vein. <sighs> like I had myself as my screensaver and then I kind of felt stupid because I'm like, okay. This is just the, um, this morning for my urgent care, this stupid thing, like my prescription, like my hives, like I have hives now, like I can't believe it. Like, dude, I'm going through so much. Okay, stop. Then um, I have this is my perfume. I love this so much. I got this when I was in, um, uh, Galleries Lafayette in Paris. It's my favorite. It's my favorite scent of all time. It really is. Like, I think more than anything, this is the one I always reach for. And I think it's because it reminds me of, you guys remember when I used to go to Paris and just like do me. Um, this is that. And I'm almost out of it. This is the only scent that I, no, it's not true. I do love all my scents, but like this is the one lately, like for the past six months, I was only wearing this. It's this one. I can't pronounce it because I'm gonna pronounce like a fucking dog and ruin it. Um, so that, I love it. And it's pink, but it's faded because it's just older. Okay, that. Then I have my, um, them or the cigarette case, but they don't say the cigarette case because it's so offensive. Um, okay, cigarette, would I have like my cards and the money in it and stuff like that, it's my wallet. Okay, I showed you guys these, which they don't go in there. They go in my, um, and yeah, and if you guys want to sit around and call my Birkin fake, you may do that. I don't care. You may think what you want to think. I don't give a fuck. See Look how pretty it is. Yeah. Fake my ass. Okay. Um, anyway, so then I have the Chanel thing. So I love, this is a really good idea for the rats. Cause they're, they're like, they're really, they're literally writing in their notepads right now. This is the most they've ever paid attention in their whole life. Okay. So for bronzer, I really, I like bronze, like the, um, Charlotte Tilbury bronzers, but this is nice for during the day because it's like a powder, but it's a dark complexion powder. So it's a number 40 and it's just like for like a dark skin person, but I use it as a bronzer and it kind of just like, I don't know. I like it. It's like a perfect fucking color. So that, um, and then I have my, um, Bentley key, which I love. It matches the leather. It came like this. I didn't like, I don't buy, I don't buy aftermarket things. It's tacky. Yes, it is tacky. We don't do that. Don't buy aftermarket things. No, don't. I, I really don't like it. Like it's not cute. You need to just, you need to just not do aftermarket things. It's, it's just like, there's a reason, there's a reason it's like this because it's how it comes. Like you don't do aftermarket stuff. Okay. So I really have had too much today. Okay. Then I have this, um, my jewelry stuff. I just have the silver lariat. I just had this because I was wearing it the other day. And then of course my Rupave. I was wearing this in that, you remember that video I made on Insta, like um, in the sun, it was really pretty. This is my Rupave. I love it. Um, it's like every so often there's a um, Pave link. It's so pretty. This one's like one of the first ones I ever made too. And I still have it. I still wear it. So pretty. Um, that... And then this is my forever, I charge forever chain, which you guys, I showed you guys all the things it does. It's like a lariat, it's a necklace, like 40 different ways. Like, 
this way, this way, and then you could even do it this way and then attach this here and then you could attach it here. So really, really cool. A lot you guys are ordering these, they're really neat. This is something you'll have forever in your collection. It's solid stainless steel. You can layer it millions of, it's like probably seven ways. I, I can't, I don't know. Really, really good piece. Yes, I've been designing that kind of um, multi thing since the beginning of my line. Okay, then I got this because I was really excited about it, but I think, okay, to be honest, like no. It's not good. Okay, so it's a. It's, I saw this on Insta. It's a stupid like Instagram. Like they like caught me. You know what I mean? On like a. It's not good. If they okay, so it's pumpkin spice, <laughs> pumpkin spice um lip gloss. Lip gloss. But I wouldn't have bought it if it was that. But it says it has like that lip plumping technology. It, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't. And like looks really cheap. Like come on. You, I don't know. I don't like it. It doesn't taste. It's not an obnoxious taste. Very subtle. So if you kind of like that, it's good for a subtle taste. Like, but I don't think it does much. Like that. There are other like lip pumping glosses that actually do something. This one, I didn't notice it doing anything. Okay. Um, okay, so I did have like one more rant to go on, but I feel like I've kind of hit enough marks today with you guys as far as like um, my, I just don't want to like break out in hives to be honest. Like I just, it's not from that though. Cause I like wasn't yelling yesterday. Um, I know you, like a lot of you like, theory people who love to throw like theories at me are gonna be like oh it's because of that oh it's because of that oh it's because of that like I don't know it's not it's either because of the lip injection that I got because she used something different that I haven't used before big deal it's not a big deal I don't care I don't like the kind of person's gonna complain like how is anyone supposed to know um and um wait till the swelling goes down okay and you guys are like probably judging the fuck out of me I'm like I'm on I'm on here real as fuck like being ugly as shit with my mouth yelling at you. And you're going to come on here and tell me that I look like shit, bitch. You know I look better than you on the, probably the best day of your life. Okay, that's the truth. Um. Anyway, so I had one more thing to say. I just want to kind of drop it in here. I think I wasn't going to, but I think it's kind of important because I'm just so sick and tired of this woke shit. Um, the girl that got like killed in Iran for not wearing her hijab. Okay, like... Do you guys, I, I can't, like, I really can't with any of you anymore because do you remember like last year or two years ago, everyone's like, oh, the hijab is so beautiful. The hijab is so beautiful. You're like so stupid. It's like such a fucking, it's such a, what's the word? Oppressive thing. A hijab is not beautiful. It may look pretty, but you don't, do you even know what the meaning of hijab is? Like, I can't stand stupid uneducated woke fucks in America being like the hijab is so pretty okay it may look pretty but it's nothing pretty about it like it's actually very oppressive okay they're like if you want to wear a hijab you should wear a hijab okay yes that's it but if you don't want to wear one and they're forced to wear one that's oppressive okay because you're a woman that's oppressive you little woke fuck ungrateful piece of shit American okay that's oppressive not can you imagine if we were in the states and they killed you or beat your ass because you didn't cover your fucking hair, okay? I don't want to hear any of your bullshit anymore. I want you to fucking stop being such an ignorant dunce, okay? And why don't you educate yourself just a little bit, okay? Before you just go with what the, the sheep tell you, I'll do whatever you say. The hijab is pretty, oh, the hijab is on a Muslim person. So that means I have to say it's gorgeous. Like, I'm sick of you. I'm so sick of people just following the fucking whatever it is, whatever the flavor of the day is, like not knowing shit about shit, okay? And just saying shit. Like, no, if, let's talk about real oppression. That is real oppression. You dying, okay? Because you're not allowed to walk around without a hijab on. Like, hijab, hijab, I don't know what the fuck it's called, okay? That, I don't know. It's a fucking thing, okay? So, I know I can't say words, and then, like, no, I can't pronounce words. I'm American. I learn English, American English, okay? I speak Greek, and I speak English, and I used to speak Mandarin. I don't speak French. I don't speak, is it Farsi? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking care. So, don't come for me on the pronunciation either, idiot, okay? So, anyway, that's the thing about the hijab thing, okay? Like, I'm so sick and tired of people acting like it's the most beautiful thing in the world. It's beautiful, fine, if, like, the person that wants to wear it wants, wears it. You know what I mean? Like, every, everyone should want to do them. But that's not how it is in other countries, and we're so lucky for us to be like that. Other countries are not like here. You guys are so fucking psycho and ungrateful, okay? I'm sick of it. And, like, you need to check yourself 40 fucking times. Oppress my fucking asshole. All right, bitch. Anyway, oh, I have this, too. This is my um, ZZ Donah Donahoe 
I love her scrunchies. They're like silk scrunchies and they have like her name like on it all like around. It's really chic. I have all the colors and that was in my bag too. Okay. I love you guys. Um, check out the new, Oh, I forgot to say that not the new designs are, I'm going to put this in the front. I'm going to edit. I'm going to put this clip in the front because yes, I forgot to tell you all the new designs are, um, are all discounted. So like the, all the, these both are just kind of like $10 each. They still are from last week. So if you were thinking about getting one, you should get it now. I think next week they'll be, it'll be like not discounted anymore and back up to normal price. So don't miss out. Okay. Love you guys and hate the woke rats. Bye.